Hello again on December the 2nd. Yesterday, Kathleen spoke to you about the angel coming to Mary with the news. We're thinking a little bit more today about how that must have felt. You saw the image of the card at the beginning of our meditation time. A picture of Mary looking at the angel. Mary's holding her water jug. Uh, many years ago, I was in Nazareth at the site where tradition says the angel visited Mary, we call it the Annunciation, where the announcement was made to Mary that she was going to have a baby. She was apparently at the well getting water, That's something that a young woman would do for her household. If I were Mary, I think I would have dropped that bucket of water. Have you ever had someone tell you news that you just were like, what? What? No. I think that's how Mary must have felt. And probably frightened and nervous and embarrassed and awkward and all of those things that happen when we're given news that we don't expect, especially when it impacts us directly and maybe we won't look so good when the news comes out. I have a little model that I keep in my office and I brought it today. It's two figures. Uh, they look like they're both female figures to me, but it's a little bit hard to tell. But one is wrapped, has wrapped her arms around the other, and down at the bottom you can see they're holding hands. I like to think of this as the angel giving Mary the news, holding her, Mary looking down, maybe a bit concerned about what might happen and the angel behind her with love and support holding her up. That's how God feels to me. Angels uh, throughout the Bible are messengers of God, bringing a message from God. And I often feel like I have an angel with arms wrapped around me. Whether it's good news or bad news, I feel the presence of something, someone, the presence of God, holding me up, giving me support, giving me love and care. I like to think that that's how Mary's story that we heard today, we hear today of the angel coming to her. While it's filled with concern and worry, also is filled with the love and support of God. We're going to put our card of the angel and Mary on our advent calendar now. So here we are, day two in front of our advent calendar, and we take the picture of Mary and the angel and put it on this block. I'm not sure what this picture is going to look like when we're done. I can hardly wait till Christmas Eve. <laughs> 